Geniuses are like thunderstorms, they go against the wind, terrify people, clear the air. I found I had less and less to say, until finally, I became silent, and began to listen. I discovered in the silence, the voice of God. The most common form of despair is not being who you are. There are two ways to be fooled. One is to believe what isn't true, the other is to refuse to believe what is true. Life can only be understood backwards, but it must be lived forwards. Hope is passion for what is possible. Life is not a problem to be solved, but a reality to be experienced. People settle for a level of despair they can tolerate and call it happiness. People demand freedom of speech as a compensation for the freedom of thought which they seldom use. It is better to try something and fail than to try nothing and succeed. The result may be the same, but you won't be. We always grow more through defeats than victories. Take a chance and you may lose. Take not a chance and you have lost already. If I could prescribe only one remedy for all the ills of the modern world, I would prescribe silence. The minority is always stronger than the majority because the minority is generally formed by those who really have an opinion. Christ was crucified because he would have nothing to do with the crowd, even though he addressed himself to all. He did not want to form a party, an interest group, a mass movement, but wanted to be what he was, the truth, which is related to the single individual. Therefore, everyone who will genuinely serve the truth is by that very fact a martyr. To win a crowd is no art, for that only untruth is needed, nonsense, and a little knowledge of human passions. But no witness to the truth dares to get involved with the crowd. Do it or don't do it, you will regret both. Above all, do not lose your desire to walk. Every day, I walk myself into a state of well-being and walk away from every illness. I have walked myself into my best thoughts, and I know of no thought so burdensome that one cannot walk away from it. But by sitting still, and the more one sits still, the closer one comes to feeling ill. Thus, if one just keeps on walking, everything will be all right. Wherever there is a crowd there is untruth. The Bible is very easy to understand. But we Christians are a bunch of scheming swindlers. We pretend to be unable to understand it because we know very well that the minute we understand, we are obliged to act accordingly. The function of prayer is not to influence God, but rather to change the nature of the one who prays. The unhappy person is never present to themselves because they always live in the past or the future. I'm so misunderstood that people misunderstand me even when I tell them I'm misunderstood. To dare is to lose one's footing momentarily. Not to dare is to lose oneself. The question is not to be or not to be, it is what we should be until we are not. Our life always expresses the result of our dominant thoughts. The truth is a trap, you cannot get it without it getting you, you cannot get the truth by capturing it, only by its capturing you. Confidence is the present tense of hope. The thing that cowardice fears most is decision. God creates everything out of nothing. And everything which God is to use, he first reduces to nothing. Who am I? How did I come into the world? Why was I not consulted? The more people who believe something, the more apt it is to be wrong. The person who's right often has to stand alone. The best news the world has ever heard came from a graveyard, 
Christ is risen. Face the facts of being what you are, for that is what changes what you are. It is the duty of the human understanding to understand that there are things which it cannot understand. Once you label me you negate me. The self-assured believer is a greater sinner in the eyes of God than the troubled disbeliever. The highest and most beautiful things in life are not to be heard about, nor read about, nor seen but, if one will, are to be lived. In order to help another effectively, I must understand what he understands. If I do not know that my greater understanding will be of no help to him. Instruction begins when you put yourself in his place so that you may understand what he understands and, in the way, he understands it. Most people are subjective toward themselves and objective toward all others, frightfully objective sometimes but the task is precisely to be objective toward oneself and subjective toward all others. The door to happiness opens outward. If a man cannot forget, he will never amount to much. It is not where we breathe, but where we love, that we live. To love another person is to help them love God. A man prayed, and at first, he thought that prayer was talking. But he became more and more quiet until in the end he realized prayer is listening. And this is one of the most crucial definitions for the whole of Christianity, that the opposite of sin is not virtue but faith. The daily press is the evil principle of the modern world, and time will only serve to disclose this fact with greater and greater clearness. The capacity of the newspaper for degeneration is sophistically without limit since it can always sink lower and lower in its choice of readers. At last, it will stir up all those dregs of humanity which no state or government can control. The greatest danger to Christianity is, I contend, not heresies, not heterodoxies, not atheists, not profane secularism, no, but the kind of orthodoxy, which is cordial drivel, mediocrity served up sweet. There is nothing that so insidiously displaces the majestic as cordiality. Are you not aware that there comes a midnight hour when everyone must unmask? It is not the path which is the difficulty, rather, it is the difficulty which is the path. Only the noble of heart are called to difficulty. To be a woman is something so strange, so confusing and so complicated that only a woman could put up with it. A man may perform astonishing feats and comprehend a vast amount of knowledge, and yet have no understanding of himself. But suffering directs a man to look within. If it succeeds, then there, within him, is the beginning of his learning. For without risk there is no faith, and the greater the risk, the greater the faith. The most painful state of being is remembering the future, particularly the one you'll never have. The tyrant dies and his rule is over, the martyr dies, and his rule begins. Truth always rests with the minority, and the minority is always stronger than the majority, because the minority is generally formed by those who really have an opinion, while the strength of a majority is illusory, formed by the gangs who have no opinion, and who, therefore, in the next instant, when it is evident that the minority is the stronger, assume its opinion, while truth again reverts to a new minority. The spiritual differs from the religious in being able to endure isolation. The rank of a spiritual person is proportionate to his strength for enduring isolation, whereas we religious people are constantly in need of the others, the herd. We religious folks die, or despair, if we are not reassured by being in the assembly, of the same opinion as the congregation, and so on. 
But the Christianity of the New Testament is precisely related to the isolation of the spiritual man. Where am I? Who am I? How did I come to be here? What is this thing called the world? How did I come into the world? Why was I not consulted? And if I am compelled to take part in it, where is the director? I want to see him. Once you are born in this world, you're old enough to die. If you think you understand, it isn't God. The difference between an admirer and a follower still remains, no matter where you are. The admirer never makes any true sacrifices. He always plays it safe. Though in words, phrases, songs, he is inexhaustible about how highly he prizes Christ, he renounces nothing, gives up nothing, will not reconstruct his life, will not be what he admires, and will not let his life express what it is he supposedly admires. Love is the expression of the one who loves, not of the one who is loved. Those who think they can love only the people they prefer do not love at all. Love discovers truths about individuals that others cannot see. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.